Welcome to the next video in our Making You the Scientist series. Today we're going to do a fun, easy to do lab experiment that's going to demonstrate to you the principles of energy transfer, heat, and convection. And this lab is easy to do because all you need is a few materials which you probably have in your classroom or even at home. You need three glasses, one with cold water, one with room temperature water, and one with hot water. And then the next thing you're going to need is some food coloring. That's really all you need to do this lab. If you would like some more information about this lab, we have a full write-up which is available at our website. The link is in the description below. Okay, now we're ready to do our experiment. And you can see here we have three glasses, one, two, and three. And the water temperature is different in each of the glasses. One of the glasses has cold water, one of the glasses has room temperature water, and one of the glasses has hot water. Now, I'm not going to tell you ahead of time which one is which. We are going to try and see if we can figure out which temperature is in which glass based on how the food coloring is dispersed through each of the glasses. Now, I have blue food coloring and red food coloring, and I'm going to put a couple of drops of each color in each glass, and we'll see what happens. You can see as we put that in, the food coloring is being dispersed. It's spreading out through each of the glasses. And we want to be able to, you want your students to be able to make a conclusion based on how the food coloring spreads, what the temperature is, is in each of the beakers, and how that represents the motion of the molecules in each glass. Now, let's just let that sit for a second. All right, now we look at the results of our experiment, and you can see in each glass, the colors have spread differently. In this glass, the colors have not spread very much. In this glass, the colors have spread, dispersed, and mixed quite a bit with the water. And in this glass, it's basically right in the middle. And that shows us that in this glass, the water molecules are not moving very quickly. This is our cold water. In this glass, the molecules are moving a little bit because this is our warm water. And in this glass, the water molecules are moving very quickly relative to the other two glasses. And you can see that because this is the highest temperature and this is the glass in which the colors have dispersed and mixed the most. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that lab activity. I know that my students always enjoy doing that in class. It's a great way to introduce one of the three energy transfer methods, of course, this was convection, there's also radiation and conduction, all three of which play an important role in our lives here on Earth, whether it's heating from the sun through radiation, whether it's weather-driven systems and convection, and other ways that we use heat in our everyday lives. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to check out all of our other videos in our Making You the Scientist series. The link to the playlist is in the description below.